Google just rolled out NanoBanana with VEO3 inside Flow and Whisk in Google AI Labs, and I'm going to show you both. In the next six minutes, you'll learn three fast workflows. Generate standout images, turn images into cinematic scenes and 3D style animations, and fix the aspect ratio headaches we all had in Gemini. And yes, you can do this for free. Stick with me until the end, and I'll show you the third Google AI Labs tool that unlocks even more free videos. Let's get into it. We're starting from a fresh browser. Make sure you're signed in with your Google account in the top right. Head to Google AI Labs. Here you have Google Labs, the home for AI experiments at Google where users are testing all the latest Google models. So that is why some of the features are free or have very generous usage. We will start with Whisk. You can find it on the Google Labs homepage or use the link in the description. You're in. This is where NanoBanana handles images in non-precise mode and VEO3 handles motion in one place. Currently, you have five free videos per month here, but I will later show you how to get more free VEO3 videos. Just stick with me until the end. Okay, we have the option to add the subject, the scene, and the style to make the best of our new image. You can create an image from a prompt or use some of the images you previously generated. Let's try both options. Here is the image I generated previously, and it is in a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. And here we will generate our scene. I will enter a prompt. And here is the result. Nice one. I will also add an outfit for a girl, but this can also be a place for you to add an imagery style like anime or some cards. Whisk offers some predefined styles if you need inspiration. Click here on the menu and select a preset from templates. Let's go back to our example. Here you can also add your inputs. Next, use precise mode to make your images more consistent with Nano Banana, and you can also lock the seed to create similar outputs. If you want more variety, unlock the seed. We will unlock the seed as we want to have a variation of reference images. Lock the frame so you never fight resizing later. On the bottom toolbar, click the Aspect Ratio drop-down. Select 16:9 YouTube. If you're making shorts, pick 916 or choose 1 to 1 for square. For this demo, we're staying with 16 to 9. In the prompt box at the bottom, type your description. In the prompt box, reference your images with subject, style, and scene. A subject is riding a horse in a scene, dressed in a style. Click Generate. Nano Banana nailed all inputs and created integrated image. Now you've got your base look. To nudge details, click Refine on the image card. In the Refine prompt, type Add a water bottle in girl's hand and hat on her head, soften lighting, then click Generate. Because we set 16 to 9 earlier, everything stays perfectly framed. Now animate it. On the same image card, click Animate. You're in the VO3 panel inside Whisk. In the action prompt, type. The girl is riding a horse. She stops and waves. You can add a dialogue. Just click the prompt field and type, Hey, perfect day for a ride. Hey, hey perfect this day looks for amazing. a ride on. All right. Next is Flow. With the free option, you can get 100 credits, but currently there is an offer for the pro version for $0, and you get 1000 credits for this month. And I will show you how to get even more VO3 videos with the next tool. Again, start from the Google AI Labs dashboard. You will land on the homepage and click on Flow, or use the link in the description below. OK, now you are in. Select New Project. Here you have different options to create video. You can start from text, but we're going to check the frames to video option. Select it, and now you have the option to add your starting frame. That's your image. Currently, you can generate VO3 videos only with a starting frame, but Google announced that in the next few weeks, we can expect VO3 to offer the same outputs as VO2, so you'll be able to create videos with start and end frames or with three different ingredient images. That gives you more flexibility, so check it out. Now, you may have prepared some images and can easily upload them here, but you can also generate and edit images with Nano Banana. Here's how. Add a reference image and write your prompt. On the right, select your aspect ratio. We'll go with landscape and choose the number of outputs. Here you'll see the results of your selection. You can edit your image even more with Nano Banana by simply writing a prompt. And once you're happy with the output, save this image as new ingredient. You can use your images as a starting frame with VO3 or select the ingredients option to create a video with VO2. Add your image, select camera movement, and on the right adjust aspect ratio, number of outputs, and model. Write your prompt. You can also add some text for your character. And finally, once you're happy, click generate. Flow is amazing because you can continue to scene builder and make a sequence from your videos. Once you click here, 
it takes you to Scene Builder. You have two options, Jump To or Extend. It uses Gemini to understand how your video ended so you can seamlessly generate the next one, guided by your prompt. This tool is amazing if you want cinematic videos. And finally, let's check Google Vids. Once again, go to Google Lab Studio, make sure you are signed in with the same Google account as your Flow account and select Google Vids. This is an editing tool where you are able to create and edit videos. And Google recently added the option to generate images and generate videos with VO3. You can generate images here. Select Insert from the top menu and choose Generate an image. On the right side, you will get a prompt box where you can create your image. As this option is still not fully customizable, for our video, we will use an image we already created. You can select VO here on the right menu and a prompt box will appear. Here, select the image you want to animate, write your prompt and boom, here is our video. You can add as many as you like and directly create a longer clip in Google Vids. You also have different options on the right to make your video interesting, like adding a talking avatar or text. Once you're happy, just click on File and select Download as MP4. The best thing is that my flow credits didn't change while I was using Google Vids, and I generated quite a number of videos while testing these tools. So this way you can generate more VO3 videos for free. Go bananas! Before you go, tell me in the comments which option fits you best. Whisk, Flow or Google Vids. And why? Your pick helps me decide what to deep dive next. See you in the next one.